Food is responsible for around a fifth of the UK's greenhouse gas emissions. It is globally recognised that we need to drastically cut these emissions if we are to avoid the worst consequences of climate change. And in the UK, targets have been set at an 80% reduction by 2050. To achieve these ambitious but essential targets, and to build stronger, more resilient communities, our food system must become more sustainable. But what does that mean for what we eat and how that food is produced? A group of over 50 organisations and individuals working on sustainable food issues in Greater Manchester have come together to answer this question. Taking into account environmental, social, economic and health concerns, we have come up with eight key principles to help drive change within our organisations and the wider food system. So here they are. Firstly, we need to think locally and seasonally. The global economy means food now travels further than ever before, meaning less money is left to circulate in the local economy. Eating local and seasonal food offers a way to minimise energy use in transportation and storage, increase freshness and quality, strengthen local distinctiveness and build more resilient communities while supporting farmers and local food outlets alike. One such outlet is Manchester's Dig Food. Basically, we, we pack boxes on a Monday to go out on delivery on a Tuesday. Uh, and we're lucky enough, a lot of the time, that the veg that we pack on a Monday is actually picked on a Monday. So it gets to people's houses within 24 hours of being picked. So there's no need for packaging, and then it's easier then for us to pack and put it into our weights and to the boxes. We get to buy fresh, locally grown food and deliver it to people's houses in the local area. So they know that their cabbage has come from like five miles down the road or three miles down the road or two miles down the road. That's pretty cool. Got good relationships with local farmers. Yeah, we would like to say they're our friends. You know, we, we kind of give them a fair price for their veg, better price than they get at, at other places. And uh, everyone sort of gets a good deal really. need to farm organically and sustainably. Organic and low carbon agriculture provides a more resilient method of food production as it is less dependent on imported petrochemical inputs. It is also more sustainable as it encourages wildlife, maximises crop diversity, avoids monocultures and prohibits genetic engineering. Charlotte is a member of Cleveland City Growers, a cooperatively run market garden within Greater Manchester. The land here has been certified as organic for about 10 years now. It's vital to grow organically because we're not always going to have access to as much oil as we want. So we don't use any synthetic fertilisers or pesticides. We rely on green manures, their crops that you leave in the ground to provide fertility and ground cover for the soil, because the soil is the most important aspect of the way we grow. And we also produce our own compost as well. So those are the two of the main ways that we grow organically. The process of locking carbon into the soil through the constant addition of organic materials has the potential to cut over 20% from the UK's greenhouse gas emissions from agriculture. We need to cut waste and packaging. Approximately 70% of consumer packaging is food and drink related. When discarded, it's often contaminated by residues of the original contents, making it difficult to recycle. Buying local and seasonal food reduces the need for packaging and prevents food waste currently produced due to long distance transportation and storage. Generally, food should come with the minimum of packaging and wherever possible, this should be reusable. need to eat less meat and dairy. Meat and dairy products are the most energy and greenhouse gas intensive foods. In fact the meat industry is responsible for 40% more greenhouse gas emissions than all forms of transport combined. While livestock uses 70% of agricultural land worldwide, it creates only a fraction of the calories per acre compared to cereals or vegetables contributing to global malnutrition and food insecurity. 
While the main aim is reducing the quantity of meat and dairy we consume, it is also important to maximise the quality, ensuring the health and welfare of animals involved. Many people don't realise that organic certification covers not only what animals are fed but also how they are treated, guaranteeing better welfare conditions than other standards such as free range. We need to stop eating at-risk fish. Overfishing is the greatest single threat to marine wildlife and habitats, with nearly 80% of world fish stocks either fully or overexploited. Many once common North Sea species are now overfished, with cod stocks on the verge of commercial collapse and common skate virtually extinct. Whilst cutting down fish consumption is an important part of a sustainable food system, the most vital aspect is excluding any fish that is listed as at risk. We need to be fairer with our trading partners. Fair trade creates social and economic opportunities for producers and workers who have been exploited, disadvantaged or marginalised by the conventional trading system. By setting a guaranteed minimum price for goods, producers receive a dependable income and are less vulnerable to volatile international markets. An additional fair trade premium is paid on top of this for investment in social, environmental or economic development projects, decided upon democratically by the producers themselves. For Manchester's Unicorn Grocery, fairness is at the heart of their business. We work to a series of ethical guidelines we, we call our principles of purpose, which are guidelines of how uh, we run the business, which uh, covers buying fair trade produce where possible, and if not fair trade, then from companies that we trust are, are looking after producers. We need to promote health and well-being for all. Less than a fifth of adult Mancunians eat the recommended minimum of five portions of fruit and vegetables a day. While 15% of the world's population goes hungry on a daily basis, here in the UK childhood obesity and food related illnesses are on the increase and we waste approximately a third of all the food we buy. A sustainable food system is about health and well-being for all, individually, locally and globally. The Abundance Project is about getting food that would otherwise go to waste to those who need it. Every Saturday during harvest season we go to people's gardens and we pick any fruit that they don't want um, and that's apples, pears, plums, we even got some figs and grapes last week which was a bit of a novelty. And then once we've picked the fruit we've got um, bike trailers, we put it in the bike trailers and we take it to projects that can use it. So that's um, homeless groups we give a lot to and groups for asylum seekers and then also schools and community groups that want it. Finally, we need to make our food system more democratic. The mainstream food system is not only unsustainable, it is also unfair. Every pound spent with a local shop is worth £1.76 to the local economy, but only 36 pence if it is spent with a supermarket chain. Decisions and profits are taken by a handful of large companies driving down prices and maximising profits at the expense of farmers, local communities and the environment. Our current unsustainable food system has turned us into a nation of passive consumers in a top-down system from which we expect unlimited choice, but over which we have little control. Food democracy is about reconnecting people to food and taking responsibility for it ensuring control by and fairness among local producers, suppliers and consumers, and working to reduce inequality in the food supply chain. So this is our vision of sustainable food. Now let's make it happen.